Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today's video is about personal branding, a topic I always like to speak about. And whenever I am upstage to talk to public about personal branding, I used to ask some challenging questions to my followers or to my audience. The first question I used to ask them was, when was the last time you googled your name? And what did you find? Did you know that people are googling you? People are trying to find out about you? And whatever information they googled and found online, they will use it to access your knowledge, experience, and your credibility. So what I always tell my, my students or my audience is to try as much as they can to brand themselves before others brand them. So what I'm trying to say in a nutshell is your achievements are not for you alone. All the awards you got are not for you to be kept, are not for you to keep them inside your box at home. They are for you and for the world to see. If you kept them at home, nobody is going to see. You have to package it and put it out so that people can see. And that's what personal branding is all about. It's about repositioning yourself, repackaging yourself. It's about showcasing yourself to the world, showcasing your achievements so that everyone can be aware that you are a professional in that field. You defined how the world should look at you. So more or less, it's not about how much people you know, it's about who knows you. And you are the one who put out the right image, write about yourself, put out a website for yourself. So when people go on to type they will get the right information you want them to get. So when it comes to personal branding, I always ask people to look inwards, try to find their uniqueness, their ability. What makes them unique? What are their strengths? What do people come to you for? Okay, so determine that uniqueness, that energy that you have, that potential that only you have, that magic. Okay, I call it the magic touch because no one else has that touch except you. And if you realize that, then you try to harness it, try to brand it, try to package it, and then expose it to the world. You are not allowed to keep whatever potential you have. No, package it and showcase it and try to see how you can monetize it. So personal branding is about you connecting with the rest of the world. It's about you showcasing your potential to the rest of the world. So people should embrace it because that's professionalism because that's showcasing yourself in the right form to the right people. So how do you do it? The first step, I usually give my three C's to personal branding. The first is go online, delete any kind of incriminating evidence, be it on Facebook, on Instagram, or on Twitter. Try to delete anything, any political inclination, anything that you have done that you know can hurt you later in life, delete it then try to establish a very clear and professional presence of yourself through appropriately presenting or developing social media presence like your personal website, your Instagram page, your LinkedIn page, and start promoting yourself. Start putting out content consistently. Okay, don't put out today and lay out tomorrow. No. Be consistent about putting out your content, your achievements, and provide values to your audience. And the last thing is, I always tell my followers to find a mentor, someone who have been there, okay? And then follow that person because it's easy. He's going to short circuit a lot of things on the way and you get there faster. So these are the three C's and I always advise people, brand yourself before others brand you. So there are some key reasons why people don't pass in a brand. Sometimes they tell you, I don't have time for it, or I don't have as much knowledge, or sometimes they, you hear people say, I'm too ugly to put out myself, or I'm too busy. These are flimsy excuses that people give to run away from branding themselves. But I believe it's something that can help you gain connectivity with the right people, can promote your sales in cases if you have companies. It can help you to even market yourself easily. It can help you to stand out when it comes to job opportunities or other series of benefits. There are tremendous benefits that you can actually gain by pulling out yourself out there because you don't know who is watching or who might watch tomorrow. Put out your content, put out your achievement, establish yourself online 
establish yourself globally so that you can be easily reached and your right perspective or right message or your true profile can be out for people to see. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you have picked one or two values and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. So please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons to stay connected to this channel for more and more videos like this. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.